Welcome back to Midday Live. We are joined by Jess Chezia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, of So uh, you are with the VA Western Colorado, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So next week is LGBTQ Health Awareness Week. So first, tell us a little bit about what that means and exactly what this week does. Yeah, um, we're just hoping to spread some awareness within the VA and the community. Um, maybe get more veterans to reach out, um, speak with their primary care providers. Um, if they do identify as LGBTQ+, um, it's important to identify if people feel comfortable because there are um, a lot of adverse health outcomes that affect the LGBTQ plus population. Um, and so um, Barb and I will be at the facility Monday through Friday from one to three just to be there and answer questions and to connect with people. Yeah, do y'all have any <clears throat> maybe any numbers or anything like that of how many LGBTQ veterans here in the Western Slope? No, we do not. No. There's no way to track that as yeah. of right now. Um, I wish that we did, yeah. but we don't. Do you notice maybe any like disparities between those who identify as LGBTQ veterans versus those who don't? Yeah, um, I mean, <clears throat> they're at increased risk for um, heart conditions, for PTSD, for military sexual trauma. Um, there's a, a lot of things that uh, affect veterans with LGBTQ plus identities at a higher rate than they do the rest of the population. Yeah. Why is this, why is this important to the Western Slope? Because, or, or anywhere. I mean, it's, it's important, a, it's important <laughs> anywhere, but we're here on the Western Slope, yeah. so why is it important here? <clears throat> well, I think it's important here because, um, there hasn't been much in place um, at our VA. Uh, things that <clears throat> were in place previously kind of stopped when COVID happened and they, have, they never really started back up. Um, and it's really unfortunate for our veterans with LGBTQ plus identities and a lot of them are very frustrated and um, I get it. Yeah, have you heard of any maybe specific stories that you know this program or this week has helped in the past? I have not. No. So, but this does, this does fight the stigma of, you know, <clears throat> maybe LGBTQ veterans. So this will help. We are hoping it will. Yeah. 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 That's good. I'm very new to the position, so um, I can't really compare it to previous years. Mm -hmm. What really but. kickstarted, was it you who maybe in your new role, was it you who really advocated for this um, or really what kickstarted this week? This coming week? Well, this is something national. Mm -hmm. um, so, VA centers across the United States should have a health awareness week. Um, whether or not they're actually doing that is another thing, I don't know. Um, but this is the week for Grand Junction, and so Barb and I just really wanted to put our names out there and uh, be a presence yeah. for VA. Yeah, of course. Well, thank you so much. This is a good week. I hope yeah. we can cover it a little bit more just so you know we can raise awareness because that is very, very important. So thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. We'll be right back after this.